8th of January, 1942. To whom it may concern. I purchased a second-hand taser, excuse my poor spelling, from your store last Saturday. Every time I go to electrocute my sunflower field, the darn thing shoots out silly string. Look, I know it is a second-hand pre-loved magic trick, but I was assured by the clown working the cashier that it would shoot out bubbles, not string. Yes, yes, I know bubbles is not the shock you'd expect from a taser, but I think that's what intrigued me and why I purchased the darn thing. Regardless, I'd like to request a refund or return my item for a store credit. The giant stuffed peacock that recites Monty Python skits was another thing that caught my eye. Or the eggplant pâté mould. The set of 55 Paris de Plaster, or even Plaster de Paris prawns. They would look great glued to the ceiling of my Yaris. The taxidermid cockroach. Or even the inflatable seal that's aquaphobic. I'm off to Snug, the town where I grew up, for the weekend, so I won't be able to come in until next week. So hopefully you receive this letter and put the aforementioned items on hold for the foreseeable future. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the not too distant. From Tony. P.S. I have misplaced the receipt. Darn it, receipt. Twentieth of the first, nineteen forty two. Dear Tony, I think the only magic trick going on here is your time travelling business. A taser? What? If that was to be invented, it doesn't sound like something that would exist until, I don't know, 1974 or something? Why would one shoot it at a sunflower field anyhow? That is just upsetting. Unfortunately, a receipt is required for your full refund. If you can chase that down, I would be happy to return you the full amount of the item. As this does not even sound like something we sell, considering we are a pet store, I hope you can understand a receipt is crucial. I can certainly agree any of those items would be a lovely touch to your Yaris. Is that a breed of horse? And I have no idea what else you are blabbering on about. But regardless, I will need proof of purchase before any refund of exchange is arranged. I am sorry for the inconvenience. 1942 is a tough time. P.S. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling my staff clowns, as I am the only one that works here. <coughs> P.P.S. Sorry this isn't super formal. I didn't go to school. Love from Mog. L.O.L. August 1974. Oi, Mog. I found my receipt. If your pet store is still trading and you're still the big red-nosed grump grumbling behind the counter, I'd like to pop in for a natter to set straight all things previously discussed. 1A. The use, apologies, your use of words like dunno have had a hugely detrimental effect on the English slash gibberish language. Shame on you. B. Pet store. 
Alan, the tax man who used to live next door to my aunt's goldfish, never saw invoices for animal items like litter. Only glitter. Kilos and kilos of fine grade multicolored metal. Where's the fur in that? Two. Yaris is, slash was, a six cylinder, 52 horse powered horse. Thanks for opening up old wounds. He died from swallowing too many bubbles from the dreaded faulty hunk of junk you sold me. Bless his gluey socks. As you'll find my receipt enclosed, I would like the full amount to be reimbursed within 14 days and delivered to the nearest train station. I will arrange collection and smelting from there. In anticipation, Dr. Tony E. Lynch.